Hey guys, and um, yay, happy Friday. I'm, I know I'm looking forward to the weekend, I hope you guys are too. But uh, I'm just going to do a interesting, well, maybe, I, I don't know, a fun little video, I guess. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at my Retina MacBook Pro here. Um, I realized that I have actually never shown the inside of this machine or I've actually never um, taken this machine apart on video before. Uh, the last video I ever made concerning this computer was, I believe, the repaste video. But, yeah, basically what I'm going to do today, I do this every three to six months. Um, what I do is I basically just pop the back or the bottom cover off and then spray the inside out with compressed air because after, you know, uh, after that time, dust uh, will enter this machine. And since uh, you know my desk is white, it shows up a lot of dust. I just cleaned it, so that's why there's none. But yeah, my desk shows up a lot of dirt. And since the MacBook intakes air from under here with these vents, uh, dust can pretty easily get inside the system. Uh, you know, this goes with pretty much any computer, though. I mean, other laptops have vents on the bottom. The same concept applies. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to hey, go ahead and shut this thing down and we'll take a look at the, um, whoops. I have to use my mouse with my left hand now because, you know, the camcorder is right-handed. So, yeah, kind of tricky, but I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down. Uh, I have my iFixit toolkit. All it's required to take the bottom cover off is a P5 Penelope screwdriver and that happens to be included in this kit. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to shut this thing down. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at what's inside, and, you know, kind of explain my process and stuff. So, yeah, I'll be right back when, uh, this thing turns off. Alright, I can't remember if I've ever showed this, but I actually have a, a sticker for my, uh, Apple logo here. It fits pretty well. So, yeah, I have the rainbow retro Apple logo. But anyway, uh, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just flip the computer over. We're going to set it on this protective cloth so it doesn't get scratched and basically yeah here is the bottom of the computer so as you can see here we have vents here I think I went over this in my full review but yep there it is uh, I believe there's what 10 screws to undo well mine only has actually has nine because you know that happened a while back I actually stripped the screw um, and I had to drill it out to get it out that's the one thing with these Penelope screws is you want to be very careful as to uh, you know how hard you uh, screw these in so yeah you can see those um, that one looks okay but it's getting to the point where it might need to be replaced uh, luckily I have replacement screws uh, for all ten of these because I bought a replacement screw set just in case one looks pretty rough I'm going to replace it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, basically, I'm going to remove all these 10 screws, and I'll be right back. All right, so my 10 screws are out using my iFixit screw set. So there they are. Well, my 9 screws, actually. So, yeah, um, getting back to what I said, you want to be very careful when you're working with these screws. You don't just want to, like, try to jam your screwdriver into one of these screws all willy-nilly. Um, you want to be very careful. You want to just kind of rest it on there and then work your way into the screw, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, these made a very soft metal and can strip very easily. Uh, Apple conspiracy theorists uh, can have a ball with that. But basically how this works is it's clipped in like here and here. So what you do is just grab it from up here, pull up, until it, sh it should de-click itself. Yep, there's one. Here's the other. Yep, so it just comes out. And as you can see, here is the bottom cover. As you can see, we already have some dust buildup going on here. It's only been about, uh, I'd say, three months since I opened this machine up last. But yeah, this bottom cover is held on partially by these two clips. So, yep, getting rid of that, this is the inside of the Retina MacBook Pro. So as you can see here, we have our 95 watt hour battery, which is adhesive in, well, I know adhesive isn't a verb, but yeah, it's uh, secured with adhesive into this frame. So none of these battery cells are moving. They are glued in very, very securely. Um, I have some uh, solution to this though. When, this, when the time comes to replace the battery in this machine, I'm actually going to uh, use IPA 99%, uh, you know, isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to just kind of dab it in between the battery cells. I've seen videos of this and it does work. But that's not going to be for 
uh, over three years down the line. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on up here, we have the board. You can see we have our two uh, fans here, and they are asymmetrical. So the blades are, you know, differently spaced, as you can see. So it kind of spreads the sound around across multiple frequencies. Pretty cool. This machine is pretty quiet, um, except for, you know, since I have my aggr more aggressive fan profile, um, it is a little louder, but I really don't mind. Uh, the two speakers are on the sides here, and as you can see, we have kind of like an air duct to bring air into the system. The idea is air is supposed to come in from these sides here. It's supposed to go up here and then rotate and out. So, yeah, here we have our heat sink. Uh, below this heat sink is the Haswell uh, Core i7. As you can see, these heat sink screws are T6 Torx, so they are not proprietary, which is cool. Here we have our 8 gigabytes of soldered RAM. Uh, that's probably a platform controller module or the chipset. Here is our SSD, which is ironically made by Samsung. So, yeah, uh, this is an I.O. cable. Uh, let's see, what else can I mention? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, and of course, which is what what is still nice is the um, MagSafe is still separate from the board itself. Uh, I assume this is our display cable. Going over here, we have our USB, HDMI, uh, SD reader here. See there are all these metal contacts. I'm not really sure what those are for. Maybe just grounding. Going up here, I'm sorry I'm not really pointing the camera in the right direction. Under these little um, rubber gaskets here we have our hinge screws. These are T7, T8 I think. Torx. So, yep. So, when the hinge gets loose just tighten some of those up. It ought to work. Uh, so I'm going to put this gasket back on here. If I can, hmm. it's not wanting to go on. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, it wasn't secured on one point, but there you go. So yeah, rubber gasket. Again, here's our heatsink. This is our uh, airport, I believe. That might be Bluetooth, but I'm pretty sure it's airport. So um, yeah, again, that is removable. So getting into this machine really is not hard at all. I mean, you pop ten screws off. As long as you have the penelope and the Torx drivers. This machine is actually fairly easy to work on. Now, removing the logic board, things like that, that might that is a little more involved. But as as to getting to the heatsink and the fans, the SSD, uh, that kind of thing is pretty pretty straightforward. So, yeah, I guess I can just kind of give you one uh, another pan through, or another overview of the MacBook insides. So, yeah, very easy to work on. So yeah. Um, I guess I'll record another clip putting it back together, but yeah, there you go. Alright, so I dusted off everything. Uh, I dusted off these fan blades as good as I can. There's still a little dust on there, but eh, won't hurt anything. Uh, putting the bottom cover on is as easy as just aligning it. And then what you have to do is you kind of have to push in two spots. So there's one, there's two. So once those um, clips are in, uh, you just go ahead and put the screws back in and you're done. Just another quick little tip. These screws go in at a slightly angled position, so you want to make sure it goes in. So you want to go. And then what you want to do, you do not want to put these screws in very tight. Like, you screw it until you start feeling resistance. Give it a little bit more of resistance and you're done. You do not want these screws to be in uh, tightly. And as you can see, the aluminum panel is not loose, so yeah. Just keep that in mind when putting the screws back in. And it's that simple. It's back together. So, all in all, um, this really is not a hard machine to work on. I mean, really. As long as you have the right bits, you can get to pretty much anything you want, excluding the battery in this machine. You can repaste it. You can swap out the SSD. You know, it's accessible. So, yeah. I don't think that this machine is as irreparable as people are making out to be. But uh, yeah, that was just a quick look inside the Retina MacBook Pro, and uh, hope you enjoyed. See you later.